Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Witcher Enhanced Edition. This is Kernel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to hang out with me today as we continue uh, looking for the Salamandra. So a little recap of the last couple of episodes. Um, this is Geralt, and he has been sent on a mission to retrieve the stolen... Uh, what's he called? The sto stolen secrets? Well, I drugs and... and uh, mutagens and all sorts of uh, interesting stuff that is uh, is um, that was stolen from the Witcher the Witcher's camp and there's a traveler over here the of Gods, the first I've seen of the yep nothing interesting right now so what I'm gonna do um, right away is enter this uh, what's it called a hin a uh, hin yeah an in in not hin what's that it doesn't have an H and let's speak with lots of people, sell stuff that we might want to sell, and... So you got a, a new entry on our journal, which... Uh, yep. And so we, this is the Ithlin prophecy that we saw at the end of um, last episode. Alvin recited that while being apparently possessed by some entity. Dwarves, Catriona is a disease which quickly spreads through all the northern, uh, through all the northern countries after the war with Nilfgaard. Those who suffer from Catriona die a terrible death. Their convulsions become stronger each day. They vomit blood and mucus, and have blood diarrhea. After a fortnight or so, they die in agony. So it's pretty. Uh, it's basically the plague. Let's speak with Kalkstein. Hmm. Three ounces of optimum martyr, a drop of mercury solution. Uh, oh, sorry, I got lost in thought. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Cogstein, alchemist. Geralt, witcher. A witcher? How much would you ask for an opportunity to examine your body? <laughs> I don't think you could afford it. <laughs> you would be doing a great service to science. All right, fine. Though I perceived you as someone who valued reliable knowledge. I respect science and scientists, alchemists too. And I guess I expect the same in return. I see. Well, hmm. Maybe you can agree to a post-mortem then. <laughs> Keep talking and I might change my mind. <laughs> regarding alchemists, that is. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Oh man, this guy. So this guy, um, yeah. He needs ghoul blood. They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? I'll come back when I've gathered some. I need that blood for my studies. Be quick about it. Yeah, he had a he had a, that um, note out there. Let me talk with you. So you don't yeah. You don't look like a local. I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, and geomancers in Oxenfort. Wonderful city, which uh, a cradle of science. I don't doubt it. Did the convention reach any specific conclusions? It was an incredible experience. I presented my dissertation on... Specific? Conventions aren't meant to be specific. Then I'm not sure I see the sense. Science is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous shallows. A single raftsman can never know every secret of the river. He must sail to the harbor and share his knowledge with other raftsmen. And get drunk and spend his last money on whores. I think I see the point now. Yeah. Mm, science <laughs> is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Ah, uh, yes. Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. I've sent a message to my friend, another alchemist. He is my only hope. Hopefully, he will send me a pass. Hmm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me, they must. So apparently there's a quarantine on Vizima. Maybe it's the Catriona Plague? Yeah, probably, yeah. That's... I, I don't know the... I don't remember the specifics. Uh, but... We'll get to learn about that. Um. Do you ask everyone for permission to examine or dissect them? 
Of course not. But you're a mutant. A scientifically wrought improvement. Something unnatural. That explains it. Don't take offense. I'm merely curious. Need any help from a witcher? I do. Check the notice I hung yeah, out. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth talking to. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not exactly a local. And think about it. If the locals were all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. Ha! Huh. Typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Alchemy is life. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. One cannot <laughs> shut the mouth of science. But fine, what do you wish to know? Okay, so, yeah, now we can learn about how to make potions. I know all this, so, um... This is alcohol, uh, alchemical bases, basically. They are alcohol, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm more interested in formulae than uh, than knowing how to make potions because I already know that. I'm interested in formulae. Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to acquire, so I encourage you to experiment, modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. I think I've heard enough. But we've only just begun. <laughs> Indeed we have, but farewell. Farewell, Kalkstein, your weird name. Greetings, handsome. You look a tinge fatigued. Wait, didn't you rescue that child at the gate? By chance. By chance? Really? If only the local peasants chance to do good once in a while. Oh, no matter. What can I get you? Nothing now. But care to sit down with me for a moment? Not lightly. I'm a decent girl. I'm at work now. Hmm. Let's see how we can perhaps charm her. Don't be angry. Only a blind man could ignore you. You sure know how to compliment a woman, sir. What can I get you? Well, that is it. Uh, so, let's see what I can sell. Tulsa Red is for um, alchemical bases. I will be needing that. Food is uh, for restoring vitality, which uh, I'm not going to be interested in parting with right now. So, I'm not going to sell anything. I'll see you later, though. Hmm? 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 Who knows? Well, let's see. Can I... Can I take all of this? I'm pretty sure there's no there's no problem with me um, looting the place. <laughs> what do you want? Give me a beer. Your kind's not welcome here. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Very well. I'll see what I have. Good man. Everyone drink up. We're closing. Innkeeper, do that again and I'll get angry. <laughs> Wouldn't want that, would you? No. All right. I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. What can I do for you? Didn't you just say that you'd be on your way? Okay, so this guy stores our equipment or stuff that we might want for later. Um, we. Uh, okay, so let's see. I'm gonna store my contracts and uh, books and scrolls and whatever over here. Got a couple of, of swallows over there. Maybe this stack. They do. Good. So let's see. Potions over here. This is a, oh, another book. I'm not gonna... I, I don't need this book. I want to sell it. Let's see. This is a contract. This is... Um... Okay. So that's a... Okay. Uh... Book of the Swallow. Okay. So Blizzard. Necrophage oil and plenty of stuff that um, 
I somehow gathered and I didn't notice. But that's gonna be for sale. This is the book on the Frighter, on the Frightener, which I'm not gonna be interested in. <clears throat> and this, I'm gonna need Bargage Skulls, right? So, Ghoul Contract, no, it's the Bargage Contract. Bargage Contract, I need 10 Bargage Skulls. Unknown Potion goes over here. White Gull, this is an alchemical base. This is a Blizzard, there you go. And this is Bottled Water, which is uh, for restoring endurance. Goat's Milk uh, for that as well. Salt Powder, Bottled Water. Stack with that. You don't, you don't stack, do you? Okay. Uh, so, Shikan, Mutton Leg. Nothing interesting right now. I'm not gonna store anything right now. Oh, my mouse kind of ran away from me. Oh, wait, he may... He may have something else for me. I'm a Witcher. Bah, by the eternal fire. Have any work for me? No. Ask the Reverend. Okay, I'll speak with him. What yeah. can I do for you? Yeah, I'll speak with the Reverend. Why the gloom? I don't talk to strangers. Do you for five orans? For that, I talk to a bar guest all day. <laughs> oh man, sure. The plague was devastating. People died in droves. The wailing lingered for three moons. If not for the Reverend, we'd all have perished. No wonder we're wary of strangers. You don't know what it's like when the plague takes your family. The Reverend prayed all day to the eternal fire, taking no sustenance. His penance freed us from sin and strengthened our faith. We began by cleansing our homes of sin and filth. We gathered it up, and by the next day, all our foulness was buried or gone. The Reverend then spoke to all who remained. You have done well cleansing your households of sin. I know it was difficult, I know they be kin, but the eternal fire sent pestilence on them as punishment for their sins. You are pure, you shall live. And we believed him, then went outside. The frost was biting, but we did our penance, crawling round the village, praying at the five chapels. The next day the village was quiet, as if all were asleep. Fewer have fallen sick since. An edifying tale. Thanks. Well, did I ju did he just say that they burned their sick? Well, that's okay. sure to take care of sickness, isn't it? Um... I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right, I'll look around. What can I do for you? Yeah, it's uh, one of the other aspects of the game uh, is that um, dif at different times of day. And let's see how do I check the time? How do I check the time? Is it over here? No, this is the system. Come on. Uh, is it the map? And nope. Journal. Uh, I don't know how to check the time. Oh, I know. I need to be uh, somewhere like this. I can't rest here, but uh, I, when I rest, it tells me the time. But anyway, at different times of day and night, there will be different people in different locations, and that's an, an interesting aspect of the game. It really, it's really immersive, uh, all things considered. There's a, a tiny bit of a problem though with uh, with the mechanic. Is that time passes so quickly in in the world. So you, oh, these guys are fighting. This is a brawl fight. Let's see. Oh, you're hitting him. Hello. Wanna fight? Got any money? Hmm, come on, man. I need- oh. I'm gonna bet everything I have because I'm gonna kick your ass. Can I... kick your ass? What? Wanna fight? What? No way, no ah, okay, okay. So he's... He's not into spending Wanna that fight? much money with, with money. me. So I'm gonna just uh, bet 10 orans, maybe? No pain, no gain. Yeah, Let's looking... See. looking, Seeing as you, you look pretty beaten up already, I'm sure that there's no, no gain anyway. Okay, so my strategy is to hit him as much as possible and try to parry him. Oh, good. So by pa to parry, I just need to... Oh, man. Ah, there you go. 
And uh, there's um, a, a dice roll or something. Uh, you just need to right click and it parries. Geralt parries. And down goes the guy and it taunts him a little bit in slow motion for whatever reason. That guy speaks very fast Lost for slow again. motion. Should have known. Here's your gold. Lost again, no kidding. No kidding. See you later. Let's see who's who's next. Fat Fred. Whoa. Whoa. What you want? Going on? We beat each other for coin. <laughs> Interesting. Fat Fred will rearrange your face. Just show me your gold. How much? Twenty-five orans. <laughs> What's that? I'm in. Twenty-five orans is nothing. Oh, come. Oh man. Okay. One. Oh, come on. Okay, so what can Oh I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh I don't remember how to fight this. I'm trying to uh, there you go. Oh no he parried. Oh he hit me. Somehow. There you go. Down into the ground. A couple of punches and look at that. A powerful I don't know the name of that. It's not an uppercut, it's the opposite of an uppercut. Slam down? I have no idea. I'm not good into that kind of stuff. You win. Oh man. Lord. Choose two flasks of supreme moonshine and a snack to go with them. A ring or cash? Well, uh, cash and... Oh, come here. Okay, so basically the vodka and chaser. The snack's probably... Okay. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna need alcohol, but then again, my be that the ring is more interesting right now. Gold. Let's go for the gold. One hundred orans. I don't know. I don't know what which one is best. And uh, I'm looking pretty beaten up already. I'm not sure that I'll be. Do I like heal or something when I fight these guys? I'm itching to it. Oh, I heal after a while. No idea why. Want a beating, stranger? We fight for money. For money. Well, fight for money with me, mate. Okay, so twenty orans. I'll kick your ass and make money doing it. We'll see. I don't think so. Okay, so I don't heal when I enter a fight, which is not really what I ex what I was expecting. So I got. I know how to do this. Basically, when he attacks me, I just parry, and this, and proceed to attack him again. So right click, left click. Right click, left click, right click, left click, right, and uh, you get you get the, the picture. So it's a pretty pretty easy system. And uh, you know, thinking, I mean, Geralt is after all an experienced fighter, an experienced monster monster hunter, an experienced witcher, and why why would he lose in a fist fight against thugs like these guys? Maybe this this guy up in front. Uh, look, no, they have. There's a couple of pretty strong-looking guys. You win, wanderer. Take your coin and leave me be. <laughs> oh well. Let's see. Want a beating, stranger? We fight for money. You have the same voice as the other dude. You're gonna. So we're probably just as strong. Let's go. Because we all know. I'll kick your ass and make money doing it. We'll see. We all know our strength is measured by our voice. And there's no more badass voice than than Geralt's. I wish I had a voice like that. I really do. I mean, I'm envious. I'm I, I I confess. I am envious of people with great voices. Something that I'm not. I mean, I I like my voice. I so you know, I mean, I, I rewatch some of my videos from time to time just to see how I can improve and all. And I like, I like listening to my voice. I know it's not something that um, is anything to be particularly proud of, but I guess that if I like it, well, I hope that other people might like it as well. You win, Wanderer. Take your coin and leave me be. But this guy, I don't think that I'd have much success if I... Oh, you don't want to fight me? Well, that's, that's it then. Let's speak with Alvin. You saved me, right? I helped. <laughs> There's all sorts of feeling. Now? Waiting for your kin to come? No. My family has passed on. Sorry, kid. It's alright. I barely knew them. 
So he's under the protection of Shani. Excuse me, Shani. Did you want to ask me something? Oh, well, I have already spoken we'll speak with later. you. For now, we'll speak later. We will surely speak later because this character is pretty important. And speaking of important characters, I'm either gonna sleep or yeah, maybe not. Let's go outside and see what happens because I'm pretty sure there was something, someone else in here that's not here anymore. Let's exit. Let's see. Oh, I know where the time is. There's a time. Three in the morning. And look at that. There's people outside. This is the outskirts of Azima. And we can collect uh, ingredients for our potions from... Uh... Ooh, hello, Vesma. My grandmother told me never to talk to strangers. Well, okay. Um... I don't know what she's doing out here, but whatever. She is fine for now. There's a merchant going around. Can you sell or buy stuff? Nah, it's too early in the morning. I'm probably gonna gonna need to. This is locked, up, of course. Okay, so I should theoretically I should go about this whole situation a little bit more methodically because I want to collect all the necessary ingredients for my potions, and I'm also interested in. Um, oh, an unknown herb. I'm also interested in completing the quests that uh, the, the bounty hunts or bounties that I have around. There's plenty of unknown herbs. Hello. I know how to fight you now. Fast, st fast style against Bargists. And Bargus down. So that's another skull and a couple of alchemical ingredients that's gonna come in handy i hope there's a fireplace which is exactly what i wanted and new talents as well oh okay so three new talents then i'm gonna apply let's see so this causes knockdown which is pretty good it's basically all that art is good for is knockdown but it's also pretty good for other stuff that i'm i'm gonna need art level two um I'm not sure art doesn't cause knockdown just by yeah. yeah normal normal art causes knockdown igni do i need to learn it i probably need to learn it i probably do um so let's see i have um strong silver yeah because basically uh witcher has um a steel sword and a silver sword silver swords are much better against monsters but we don't have one yet and I don't need that. I'm not gonna not, I'm not gonna need these. Let's see intelligence. Sun intensity, no. Okay, so uh hmm. Why would I need this? Oh angle. Oh of course, I understand now. Let's see. Yeah, let's go for that one. Let's go for fast fast style. Increase pain, increase damage. All the can I choose just one of this? Or do I need to go? I probably need to go... Maybe not. Maybe I can choose just one of this. I can. Good. And this. And that's it. That's our level up for now. And uh, yeah, I was thinking that the time was displayed in here, but it's not. Let's experiment with potions. So I can cause... A, uh, I can create a blizzard. Which... Uh, what does it do? Blizzard is... Boost reflexes and reaction time, improving chance of parrying and evading attacks. White girl is uh, an alchemical base. I can create white coal. Seriously? Hmm, that's very interesting. That's very, very interesting. It's, it's also pretty weird, because why would I create white coal with white coal? I, I don't know. Never mind. Uh, let's... No, that's not what I want. I keep clicking the seat. Oh, there it is. So we rest. And let's continue on our journey. Oh, we're being ambushed. That's not gonna be much of a problem. It's just a Vargas. Oh, he's quick right there, but... Well, Vargas down. Another one bites the dust. Ooh, pretty gruesome corpse right there. So let's check the map. How do I check the map? Do I go over here? Okay, so... No, this is journal. Where's the map? Where's the goddamn map? There it is. 
So this is Odo's house and there's a campfire over there. Okay. So let's go to Odo's house. There's a dog barking. Odo's dog is barking to the moon. There's no moon, but... What's up, man? What's up? Did Hodo die or something? Who's Hodo, by the way? I think... What? Just ran away? Well, okay. So there's a... Nothing over here. Nope, nothing over here. Let's check inside. Let's see what is up with Odo, because that dog unsettled me a little, a little bit. An armor and Odo is sleeping. Blood and dance, this armor's a warrior's. Hmm. Well, let's rob him while he sleeps, because what what else would we do? Hey, he doesn't mind. He doesn't mind. It's not a, a moral a moral issue. It's just he's it's okay with that. He's okay. It's totally okay. Crate with some food. That's always nice. Let's speak with him. Who goes there? I'm a witcher, a monster slayer. Why into my home armed? I have nothing worth stealing. Calm down. I've no desire to hurt you. I just need to ask you a few questions. I don't talk to strangers. I'm Geralt. Now you know my name. Have a drink with me, Master Geralt. I detest spies, and we all know spies don't drink. Let's drink, then. What kind of logic is that? Spies don't drink? <laughs> I mean, maybe because they are on, uh, they are on the job? I don't know. Forgot the most important. Seen the Reverend? Hmm. Hmm. The Reverend. The Reverend. Be gone, straggler. Oh. Be gone, straggler. So it looks like he's not into speaking with us. Oh well. Maybe later. Maybe later. Maybe I need to, to speak with the Reverend then. Yep, I probably do. I probably do. Let's do that. Let's check the map and see where the reverend leaves. There it is, like this way. Okay. So off we go. More Vargas. Looks like a spawning location for Vargas over here. Which is a good thing, because I need... Uh, oh, that was too fast. I need to uh, get their skulls. And as soon as I get their skulls, I can go back to whoever wants them. It's uh, uh, Abigail, who, by the way, lives nearby. Let's see. So I have uh, seven Vargas skulls, and Abigail lives over there. Yep, there she is. She's the uh, witch, or I don't know. I don't know what she is. Some sort of uh, thaumaturgy. Some thaba thaba. I don't know. She's, she's like a witch, except maybe a bit friendlier than you'd want, and a bit with bigger... a, a bigger bosom than you would, uh, expect of a witch. She leaves, I think, this is a door to abandoned house. Let's see what's inside the abandoned house. Maybe ghosts? No ghosts, just a skeleton, and not a live one, an, or an undead one, and no loot as well. Oh, there's a sack over here with some salt better. That's okay. That is perfectly fine by me, and I think so. Oh, this is a couple of abandoned houses, actually. Not anybody to greet us. They're all dead. So yeah, that thanks to the plague that is um, assailing Vizima. Eternal Fire Shrine. Let's see. Oh, what are you going, man? Who are you? Have we met? Perhaps. I lost my memory. I've never heard that before, though it's possible. The little medic will care for you. Shani can't help. Shame. Ah, now I remember. Get out of Rivia. I hired you in Novigrad to rid my storage of Garcades. If you say so. I hadn't sufficient coin, but you helped me nonetheless. Guess I was generous then. My business has grown, so I'll pay this old debt. I could use the gold. Here's 100 orins. Ooh, an honest, an honest um, customer. Hmm, that's very nice. Especially after I just told him that I lost my memory and he just paid me. That's very nice of him. 
He was running. Now he's not running anymore. He was running because uh, it's raining, and it's one of the one of the normal of of the. Uh... Okay, so this is a quest sort of uh, location. Yeah, it's one of the normal AI, uh, AI packets. Uh, it's that um, NPCs will run for cover when it starts raining. And what's that? There's a guy over there. I think he's a hunter or something. I don't remember exactly what it does, what he does, but let's let's check it out. Let's check it out. There's a fireplace over here. Greetings, Witcher. I'm the local hunter. Greetings. Wonder how I know you. No? So be it. What do you want? I'm looking for Witcher's work. Since you're here, a monster supposedly haunts the lake shore, devouring peasants late getting home. A ghoul may have made its lair in the crypt. How much for each? You witches do nothing disinterestedly. Kill a monster, bring me proof, and I'll reward you generously. Hmm, of course we do nothing disinterestedly. We are witches, that's our work. That's our job. If we start doing our job for free, then how can we expect people to pay for it? How much do you collect for a drowner? It's my professional secret. Come on, we're in the same profession. It seems so. So, how much for a drowner? Depends, but on average, 80 orins. I've never come close to that. I knew something was wrong with those prices. Calm down. Progress wherever you look. Only witchers, the relics they are, still work for a pittance, while being called freaks by those they do favors for. A fair day's wage for a fair day's work. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, racism, not racism, but uh, prejudice and discrimination abound in this world, in the world of uh, the Witcher. What does the creature from the crypt look like? Perhaps a standard ghoul, but who knows? See for yourself. You're certainly not going there, I, I don't believe. Did the peasants say anything more about the lakeshore monster? Just that it hunts by the lake at night and kills people. Take care. Well, if I ever get a drowner, I'll come back here because I'm gonna sell you their heads or whatever. But for now, the... where... Ooh, can I go in here? I can't... I can't go much further than that, but anyway. Um, for now, my next objective is going to be to hunt some drowners, some um, ghouls maybe, because that's also part of our bounties. And let's just, let me just see what is around these parts. Nothing of interest. Let's check the map. Oh, I clicked something that I didn't mean to. Thank you. What the? It's a monkey. Kind of scared me for a, a little bit, little du little buddy. How are you doing? Hello? <laughs> yeah, man. There's all sorts of weird animals in this world. So there's that's Abigail's hut, and maybe I'm gonna check on the on the Reverend uh, first before I go to the shore, which is uh, towards that over there, over by that side. But for now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been The Witcher Enhanced Edition. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!